How are you feeling? Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. He's about to blow his lid. Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. <laughs> then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. <coughs> we can still make this work. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. I am. I am. It's not gonna be pretty. each other a long time. Sooner or later, they're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. <laughs> Seems like you've done that before. I guess we're getting close. That's what worries me. Mm hmm? There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Yeah? Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car, hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. Wow, that's... They had to try, right? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. Right. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. Yeah, okay. It working. That's progress. It works. what I tell you? Good job. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry, we did? We're going to find Wellington, right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. A what? You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. We have to bring him with us. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, are you okay? Alright. 
doubt it's... You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. Why am I always on talking duty? Why can't you people be the fucking adults? Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. That's true. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Mm, true. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. This is different. How? Where are we going to find baby formula? I don't know, but sitting around here ain't a way. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And to keep my hair short. <laughs> we gotta stick together. just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? I think she did. You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. I felt pride, a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him, you and me. I'll try. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Exactly. A deep breath, for a chance we want to calm down. Let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. <sighs> but he's true. Well, the smoke was usually fire. People keep talking about Wellington. <sighs> but if we all just could keep it cool and not get fucking cabin fever, that'd be nice. Oh, what now? Hey! Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clem. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. What are you doing? We're just leaving. Now keep it down, alright? Nobody else has to get involved. Slow down. Let's talk about this, Mike. There's nothing to talk about. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? Sorry, but. Who? Kenny? Clem, 
Damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Just... Just be quiet, Clem, please. Sorry, but we need that car. I'm sorry, Clem. Just give me the gun, Clem. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'll shoot. Don't Here do it. Go. Don't do it. Here we go. Don't. It's fine. Just. works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. Maybe. We just gotta hope for the best. Not too many other options. True. All right, he didn't always have that beard. I feel, I like feel that. bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. This is weird. Lee? Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Because of her dad. Yeah. Still no regrets about that, by the way. People don't always make sense. No, that's one of the frustrating things about the world. Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? No, she was too dangerous. I don't think so. I don't know. It wasn't easy. <laughs> Say, surely. It was pretty easy for me. I don't know if we did the right thing. Mm. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Claire. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate sure. math. <laughs> me too, sweet pea. <sighs> uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes... That means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. It's never, it never is, is it? I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That it'll be okay. It will. It's gonna get better, Clem. You'll make it better. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> Is this a memory map? 
dream? Well, let's try to get some sleep. Right. Okay, Lee. <laughs> Last time we slept in this with Jem, somebody turned into a zombie. That was freaky. something right so I think we had ignore excitement for now now the guy died <sighs> I kind of liked him but it's just obviously next in line for the Grim Reaper so this has been Eric Copeland this has been Let's Play The Walking Dead Season 2 Blind see you all around